Hi, Namaste children. Today, in class 8 squares and square roots, we are going to find the square root by estimation method. For that, first, we need to know that basic rule finding the squares, that is, the ending digits. A number, one square, will always end with one square will be 1, 2 square will be 4, 3 square will end with 9, either let it be 3 square or 13 square like that, the numbers are going to end with 9. Then similar manner 4 square, 14, uh, 14 square, and 24 square etc will end with 6. Then 5 square will always end with 5. Then 6 square, let it be 6, 16, 36, uh, 46, anything. 6 square is going to always end with 6 only, 36. Then 7 square is going to end with 9. Again, this 9. Then 8 square is going to end with 4. 64, that is 4. A, let it be 8 square, 9, 18 square, 28 square, 30, 38 square. Any number is going to end with 4. Then 9 square is always going to end with 1, that is 81. And 19 square, 29 square, 39 square. Same manner, 10 square is going to end with 100, that is 0. So you can see here, the numbers are ending with 1 and 1, 4 and 4, 9 and 9, 6 and 6 and 5. That means the numbers ends with, ends uh, with, 0 ends with either 0 or 1 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 9. That's all. So, a number which ends with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 are only called perfect square numbers. And hence, you can find the square root of these numbers only. The numbers which are ending with this only, you can find the square root. Without other numbers, we can say 100% surely that they are not the perfect square numbers. First, let us consider a number to find the square root by estimation method. That number, first number, let it be 729. First number, 729. We know that 10 square is 100 this estimation method we are going to jump like this 10 20 30 like that 10 square is 100 always 20 square is 400 30 square is 900 now itself we are closing nearing to the answer we are closely now we know that the 729 the square root of 20, 729 lies between 20 square and 30 square because the 729 lies between 400 and uh, here I wrote this number wrongly. It is not 729, it is 900. So the number lies between 400 and 900. Now this we ought to find out the exact number also that means we have this rule that a number needs to end with 9 means the square of the number ends in 9 means that number must be either 3 or must be 7 so that means either it must be 23 square or 27 square but we can see 23 square is closer, 3 is closer to 400 and but it is 729, it is closer to 900. In that way, we can say that the number lies between 20 and 30 is 27. So we can say that 27 square can be 729. It is not sure that it will be because 
this 729 if it is a perfect square number only what is our guess is correct suppose if they give 725 and we read that the square of that number is 725 then it will go wrong so this number must be a perfect square number hence we are saying that 27 square equal to 729 that means first you are estimating in 10 square 20 square 30 square then we are going between the two numbers and hence we are finding out which number it is exact still doubt means we can go and multiply and verify this one now let us consider the second number uh, 7921 the second number is going to be 7921 a four digit number first i took three digit number now four digit number now for this second write um, 150 square that is just i'll start with 50 square we know it is 2500 then 60 square is going to be 3600 70 square is going to be 70 square is 4900 4900 80 square is 80 square what is 80 square 80 square 8 8 are 64 so it must be 64 0 0 6400 then 90 square equal to 9 nines are 81 8100 we came to the nearby point that means this 7921 lies between 80 square and 90 square that is we can write like this also 80 square is less than 7921 but this number is less than 90 square we'll write like this that means this number 7921 lies between 80 square and 90 square now we'll take this first column this row column as an help now this number must be here it is ending with one so it must be either 81 or 89 this or this so it must be 81 or 89 it cannot be 81 because it is coming very closer to 6400 so we can say that this must be the square of 89 so 89 square is this one so square that is 7921 can be said as 89 or the square root of 7921 can be written as 89 that's all now let us consider the third number third number 15625 15625 this is a five digit number three digit four digit and five digit number similar manner up to 90 we have gone now let us go to 100 square 100 square equal to easy to say 10,000 okay then 110 square equal to 121 double zero 12,100 120 square equal to 12 12 sir 144 0 0 14,000 130 square equal to 169 13 13 sir 169 double zero 16,900 hence we can say that this number 15,625 lies between 14,000 and 16,900 so now it is our duty to find which is the exact number but for this there is no difficult much strain why because the digit ends with 5 must be only 125 so this 125 square we can guess and we can estimate that it is 15625 we can check this by actual multiplication so what we are going to do 
in this estimation method first this is very important the numbers ending digits 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square which digit it ends with then with the help of that and we are taking the help of 10 square 20 square 30 square 40 square like that and where this number lies the given number is lying in between these two numbers like that you are coming closer and then we are moving one step further closer such that the number is exactly either 23 or 27 like that by seeing this ending digits in the same manner i have solved here three sums so i hope it will be interesting to you to solve this one you can try by taking any numbers but actually now you are going to do only with the square numbers if it is in the given number is a square number then it is very easy for you to estimate or suppose if it is given 15626 but it is not this number exact square number then you can say that this is a uh, number either perfect square or not we don't know but it lies between 120 and 130 we can conclude that it lies between 120 and 130 and leave that one so we are coming closer and saying if it is a perfect square if it is not perfect square we are going to estimate that it may be this or that number that means it lies between these two numbers or these two numbers like that but it is very easy in calculation that means in what way calculation means in the exam they are asking one question and you are writing one answer that to irrelevant answer suppose for 15,625 if you write the answer as 145 then you can say that by this small estimation 14 square one to, uh, that is 12, 120 square is one for 14,000 130 square is equal to 16,900 but we have got the answer as 145 then now it will be correct it should be between 120 and 130 only no like that we can guess it and find whether the answer is correct or not this can be used for verification also and this is the estimation method okay thank you